Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to warp a song in the new Ableton 8. Warping is quite a bit different. People are getting uncomfortable with it. I haven't really done much of it myself, so we're going to kind of learn together here. So I'm going to drag a file into my audio track here. And what I've done is I've made uh, a simple impulse track with a kick, snare, and hi-hat. And I've got the met metronome at the same time. If you're more comfortable just using the metronome, that's completely fine. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I tend to, to like to, to use both, just a little bit more reliable. So let's take a look at our track here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to see kind of what tools show up in different places. Normally this tool here, the magnifying tool, used to show up right in this zone. So I guess now I've got to come up to here for that. Here's where our, our loop settings are. So oh. extend the loop marker there. And then right below this is I guess where the warp markers are. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get in close and see uh, where it put the first marker. Looks like it put it pretty close, but not quite close enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right here looks like the, where I want to put the marker. And then I'll just, so all I did was just clicked on here and it made the orange line. And then right above, I guess I'll just double click there. So now we've got a warp marker there. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to delete this first warp marker. Just right click and hit delete. I'm sure you could just hit your delete key as well. And now I'm just going to drag this over to one. All right, so that works pretty good. And then, let's see here. My loop, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to turn my loop on. If you don't see that, just make sure that you turn these three lights on. Just like so. The envelope there, too. So, turning my loop on here. Click on Sample. And I'm going to make a, a 17, well, 16 bar loop. So I'm just typing in 16, hitting enter. And there we go. We're at 16 bars. Well, let's see how close that gets us on 17 bar. Looks like, yeah, it looks like we're a little bit off here. So I'm going to get in close by just mag magnifying glass and then just click on the mouse, left click and drag down, getting closer. And I think right about there is where I want it. Double click to make the marker and then I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm just gonna drag it to the 17th bar. And let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. Turn the drum beat off, turn off the, okay, so that's our part, turn the metronome on, turn my drum part back on, okay, that sounds pretty good to me, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the loop bar here, then I can use my page arrows up and down to scroll 16 bars at a time. So I'll just go ahead and start the track and then kind of scroll through and see how, how things sound. Oh, now to make sure you darken this here and then
Okay, up to here it sounds pretty good. Usually around 97, I like to check and see how close the beat really is. So let's take a look. Looks like we're a little bit off here, so I'm going to get in close. Pop a warp marker right here. Double click to create it. Go ahead and zoom out. And then just drag that over. Wait for the right icon here. Come on now. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I can go ahead and drag it even if the icon doesn't give me that, those arrows. That's what I was looking for right there. But that'll work for me. And then I'll click on that. We'll start to track again. And I'll just keep scrolling. I'll go ahead and check over here. And if at 97, the track or the beat markers were further off, I would probably be making corrected mar markers more often. But this seems to be fine. And we're definitely off here, but not by too much. And so I'll click here and double click, zoom out. And then let's move this over. And then we'll start again. See, let's see if it trails all the way out pretty well. Sounds pretty good. So let me get in close. I'm sure it's supposed to end right here on this beat. So I'm just going to go right to the end of this. Add in right on the one and then just drag it over. Let me shorten my loop here. What do we got? That looks that's an eight bar loop there. Great, everything's sounding pretty good so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the track and scroll my way back to the beginning. All right, I found no errors in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn the loop off. Then I'm going to hit the save button. And we've just warped a track in Ableton 8. Come back soon and I'll find some more advanced tricks for this form of warping.